They say it's not the camera, but the photographer that makes a great image. So what actually happens when you take experienced photographers and give them entry level or outdated gear? Get ready to find out. I'm going head to head with photographers with inexpensive photography equipment that we normally wouldn't use. This is the Budget Photography Gear Shootout. This video is sponsored by Canon Printers. My name is Vanessa Joy and this is the Budget Photography Gear Shootout and I am here with Gary Hughes, hi, Orlando, Florida, nice to see you. He just said the nicest thing about our model, come, come over here, <laughs> who is like super gorgeous. He's like, I wanna make sure that I get your name right, and what'd you say? It's important because models get like baby, sweetheart, doll-faced all the time, and so like using the name, nobody's ever gonna be mad. And dudes too, don't wanna be like ace sport dude, chief, bro. <laughs> just use somebody's name. Photographers out there, you are 50% creepier to the opposite sex than you think you are. So like dial it back a little bit. <laughs> On that note, let me tell you what we're shooting with today. I am shooting with my Canon Rebel T7, and I'm probably gonna stick to the nifty 50 to 50 mm. millimeter, 1.8. Uh, definitely under $1,000 total here. Not sure exactly how much, uh, but what are you shooting with? Is this with? fair? I'm, sh I'm shooting with the iPhone 13 mini, and I literally just made a YouTube video on how much I hate the camera on this phone. Fantastic. And so it's gonna be a, a grand old time. It is, it is. It's fair, I mean, I, I they, $6.99, I think. $6.99, yeah, okay. Yeah. Under the budget, right? Yeah. Okay, for sure. we're good. Yeah, it's under a thousand bucks. All right. Let's shoot. You gonna shoot first? <sighs> Whatever, you're gonna kick my butt no matter what. So <laughs> it's gonna be fine. I'm just a guy trying his best with a phone. <laughs> so forgive me, but I'll do my very best for you. I my best, Tom. Yes. I do my best. Okay, let's go. All <laughs> right. Way. Here's the rules each photographer will shoot to their heart's content, and then it's time for editing and printing. After seeing our printed photos, it's up to you to determine which photographer's photo you like best. This will work. This is perfect. Great converging lines, and I'll be able to use the wide angle, the hideous wide angle lens on this camera. I'm just going to turn the camera upside down, and I have an incredibly gross carpet that I don't like at all, but the light and everything looks really cool. So we're going to plank. <laughs> Here we go. Well, this is gonna go upside down, and I'm gonna try to turn this into a reflective surface shot. When you turn the camera upside down, you can get a lot of really cool foreground, and the iPhone knows that it's upside down, and it automatically reorients the photo for you. So it's a neat little trick I learned, and this iPad is gonna look like a, like a reflective surface. So Joy, I'd love if you could do something with your arms up over your head, like even, yeah, separated from your body. So first shot I'm gonna do with the carpet just to show what we're trying to get. This thing takes forever to take a picture because it's applying all these stupid computational crap to it that I hate. All right, Joy, I want you to lift your chin please ever so slightly and then give me your feet a little bit wider, like six to eight inches. And right away, we nailed it. All right, so looking up a little, and your hands are perfect. Vanessa, can you hold the iPad? <laughs> Love to do more than one picture. <laughs> Daniel Norton only had to do one picture. <laughs> that's and so I do one. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I love that. Thank you very much. I want you to turn your head. All right. A little more arch of the back, just a tiny bit. That's lift your chin half an inch, please. And we have a winner. As ah, you're doing get that. Get out of here. <laughs> As you're doing that. Okay, let me see what it looks like. All right, so it's my turn. It's joy on joy. <laughs> I want to get foreground. I want to get nothing but white. So we have to see how this goes here. And then go ahead and turn towards the outside. Do you like, uh, what side of your face do you like better? You don't care, okay, good. So yeah, uh, no, keep your body towards me. Okay, but my face. Yes, that's it, right there, hold that. Keep your head that way, because that's where your light is. But at the corner of your eye, exactly. Stay like that so I can get a focus. I love this. You know what I want to do? I do want a full length. Come on over here. Yeah, let's come down. Good, I'm gonna back up. I love that, hold that. I want to do that pose again, but I just need to change my aperture. Cause I'm shooting at two and I'm really nervous about that cause I'm, you know, recomposing, focusing and recomposing and that's so going to F4 so I can focus and recompose a little better, which definitely means I need to raise my ISO. I'm going to guess it's going to need to be around 1600. Let's see what my light meter says. My light meter was about one stop overexposed, which is perfect because we have a white background, which means that it's a lighter photo. So it thinks it's overexposed, but it is not. Let's see. I don't think I need my light to enhance this here, but it's fun. No, it's 
put it away. This is my weakness in life. I see cool things architecturally and I just want to get up in your face instead. <laughs> Love that. That's really pretty. Perfect. Is that good? <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I, have, I need more edges. Right, I'm excited to see these. All right, talk to me about your pictures. I have a couple of issues. One of my issues with the, the iPhone 13 is the computational photography. It does HDR, you can't turn HDR off. Right, So yes. like you have to put yourself in a position where the HDR is gonna look good. But if you try to get something with a lot of contrast, it just won't produce it no matter mm -hmm. what you do. So I wanted to get something that was relatively soft and even the HDR version of it wouldn't be challenged. Like the total range was all totally doable. This scene gives me light from both sides, converging line onto Joy, beautiful light modeled on her face. And I was able to lean into the strength of this phone, which I hate because it doesn't have a telephoto lens. You can't zoom in without yep. digitally zooming in. So I wanted to lean into the strength of the wide angle lens because I knew it would do a great job. And I picked a, a part of the room where the HDR wouldn't make it look like a GD nightmare. You so, really thought about this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. This is, this is, this is what I do, Vanessa. I no. know. So a couple of friends of mine, we were talking about wedding photography and how they shoot ring shots and they use an iPad as the surface a lot mm -hmm. and leaned it into the image so that I could create a mirror of the scene. And it's not quite perfect, but I was really happy with the results ultimately. And it's got a much better look and feel than um, the carpet, which is a nightmare. It's awful. It's the worst carpet. <laughs> so we did a range of poses. You can see even in the images, I didn't change anything. The light didn't change. And you can see the tonal range going all over the map because of the computational stuff that's happening in right. the phone. Some are dim. Some are bright and the phone just is so unreliable with that. So I picked a scene that was really easy to expose. And so that's, and it turned out, um, actually I'm really surprised. It looks like it looks <laughs> pretty shocked. It looks good. And I'm not course, ashamed of it. <laughs> of course you will edit it. So you're gonna pick your favorite from this. And uh, these look good. I love that That's one. I love favorite. that third yep. one. Yeah. And I also don't have to do anything to it because the phone actually got the exposure it right. It did. So it I'm just gonna. It. I'm not. I mean, I can edit if you want me to, but I'm happy with that. Mm -hmm. See, and now I wanted to do something with the reflective, so I like popped in the phone here. That's it. It's okay. I like it. I no, like, it's cool. I mean, it almost looks like it's got motion in it. It's yeah. Really neat. Like her jawline is just awesome. Yeah. So that's just fun to play with. I'm Camera. just impressed. Uh, the quality of the images it's turning out is so good. Obviously, you did a great job, but like we buy brand new expensive cameras all the time and you can just do it with anything if you know what you're doing. And right, but it's not going to be as fast. It looks fine on Instagram, though. And isn't that just the goal, right? <laughs> yeah. Like, that's all we need. <laughs> so my favorites then are going to be, got some close-ups here. Oh, look at her smile. It looks so good. You're amazing, Joy. Amazing. I think we got some pretty good images. Okay. I'm not sure if this guy's gonna agree we got some pretty good images, but we'll see. Yeah, awesome. I, I don't know, you wanna come take a look at our images and see if we suck? Oh yeah, sure. See if yeah. we suck. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Manny Ortiz, everybody here to critique. Oh man. <laughs> our yeah, shitty the, photos. Model, the model's pretty epic. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, that's, Start with the positive, that's, right? Yeah. yeah. Great, great. Great job, guys. Yeah, yeah, Great but job. look at this, like that's, that's awesome. Where, where was that? Right there. All I see is his carpet. Oh, yeah. it's a callback. Good no, joke. he did the reflection. Oh, okay, you're doing some Instagram tricks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna narrow down mine. You're gonna narrow down yours. You're gonna pick your favorite, you're gonna edit it, and then we're going to print it out, and that's when you can pick your favorite photo, mine or Gary's. Uh, I already vote for his, so uh, there's that. <laughs> now that we're done shooting, it's on to printing. I am printing with the Canon PIXMA Pro 200, which is not the cheapest printer ever, but it's certainly not the most expensive. Right now in the US, it comes in at $599, and I think it does a pretty good job when I want something that's elevated from the typical printer that I keep in my office. So let me show you these images, and then you can vote which is your favorite.
Okay, before I show you more than you've seen as these printed out, remember that Gary was shooting with an iPhone and not a recent one, an old one. And this sort of plays to the point that yes, professional cameras, actual cameras are still better because when you go print, you're gonna see a world of difference. So this is my picture. I decided to print it as a black and white and I went for a luster finish on the paper. Gary's image at 100% was that size. Now I'm not sure if that was how it came out because I think he edited it in his phone as well, but that's 100%. So I did blow it up to about 280% and that's what you see here. You will 100% notice the difference. However, I do wanna make the case, play devil's advocate here. You know what, do you always need to print your pictures? Not necessarily. Sometimes do they just live on Instagram? Yeah, so anyway, let me know which image you like best. I hope you had fun with this episode of Budget Photography Gear Wars. Let me know in the comments who you want me to do this with and if you're enjoying and of course, vote for who is your favorite and make sure you give my friends a follow as well. Thank you so much for joining me here. My name is Vanessa Joy. Hit like, subscribe, ring the bell and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.